Hello, my name is Victoria Setunya, and I am hastily responding to a letter I saw on John Delane's YouTube, where a member of the LDS Church is asking what the church and maybe some other church members can do to stop um, the ongoing damage to the loss of faith and the rest of the stuff happening in the LDS church. I'm, I'm not sure I even read the letter correctly, but let me say this to you. Over 10 years ago, I had close to $10,000 in savings, my savings account. And I lost all of that money fighting to obtain a diploma that was adulterated by the members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints at Weber State University. That was my children's money. I didn't need to fight for the diploma other than study and do my job as a student, but I had to do more. To the individuals who wrote the letter to John Delane, let me say this to you. The Mormon church must face all of us individually. They know whom they have harmed. I said this, I said this many years ago, and I'll say it again. They must face each one of us directly. They know whom we are because many of us have approached them directly. That is how to address the injury they've caused. Taking pictures with black people will not undo the harm they've caused to people like me. Separating non-white migrant families will not silence us. I'm doing fundraisers now to pay lawyers for the reunion with my son. I shouldn't be doing this. They framed my son for a crime. I'm glad you wrote John Delane, but I'll say it again. The only way to control the damage happening towards anybody who's causing injustice to others is to seize the injustice. That is the only way. You stop the injustice, that's how you do the damage control. I demand the reunion with my son. 